Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a custom health bar uh, using Roblox Studio. Uh, I recently got a request for this and I just figured, you know, why not? It's a pretty simple concept and it could probably help a lot of people out. So um, I'm going to of course explain this as best I can as I'm going, so it can attempt to be educational. Um, so we're just going to insert a screen GUI here with two frames. So obviously it's not going to be fancy, I'm not going to work on any details, but um, I will show you how to code it. So let's give it a decent size, make it take up half the screen, we'll place that in the center, make that be 50, and we'll put this at just the bottom of the screen. Alright. And we'll go ahead and name this frame background. So this red bar here is going to be, uh, you know, the indication of no health. So we're going to have another frame inside of it, and I'll just call it, um, I'll just call it positive. And we'll make this green to indicate health. And we can just reset all these other properties. All right, so here is our health bar. It's nothing fancy, but, you know, details can always be worked on later. So now to make this work, uh, let's insert a local script into our positive frame here and get started. So first of all, we're going to need a reference to our local player, which um, obviously we can just say local player is equal to game get service players dot local player. You could also say um, player is equal to game dot players uh, dot local player, but it's just a habit of mine to use get service for everything. Um, so just a habit that I, a habit that I don't really want to break. Anyway, um, now we need the character of this player. So everything that is stored in everything that makes up your character is in a model called character, which is a property of player. So. Um, now, there can be a slight problem with uh, reaching this character value, especially in local scripts, because you never know uh, what's going to load first, the character or the local script. Um, more often than not, the local script loads before the character, so that often leads people having to use a loop to wait for the character in the script, or some kind of fancy, messy way around, you know, waiting for the character. But all we really have to do here is just, we can just do local character is equal to player.character, and this would be the normal way you could index it. Um, but we're going to use an OR statement and the character added event to return the player if the player hasn't loaded yet. So we're going to say, okay, um, character is either to, is equal to either uh, the player's character or player.character added wait. So what's going on here is we have uh, the player added event connected to this little wait function right here, which is going to make it so that when the player, or when the character is added to this player, um, that will then activate and return whatever this event returns in this case is going to be the player's character. All this little wait function does right here is makes it so that the thread yields until this event is fired. And um, when it does, then it will move on with the rest of the script. So after that, we can then say local human is equal to character, and this, of course, is going to reference the humanoid of the character, where we can access the health. Uh, and we're just going to use wait for child, because again, we don't know if the humanoid is loaded right away. So we're going to say wait for child, humanoid. So now we have all that annoying stuff out of the way. Um, the rest of this is just going to be the uh, an event on the humanoid and some basic division. So this whole uh, health system is going to be based off percentage, and that's the same rule with any uh, you know custom health bar that you have. It's all going to be based off of the player's current health divided by their maximum health, and that's how you get the percentage of anything, uh, the current divided by the maximum. So we're going to say human.health changed connect um, health. So, oops, 
going to put pass the function. Pass health. Okay. So now we have a function connected to our event with health as the argument for the callback. And uh, that health represents the player's current health uh, whenever the health is changed. So now what we have to do is resize this green bar um, in proportion to the percentage of the player's health. So all we have to do is say human, or not human, um, actually we're going to need a reference to our uh, frame here. So we can just say local health frame is equal to script.parent and we can say health frame dot size is equal to udim2 dot new which is the function for setting the scale or offset to a GUI. Um, and we're going to go ahead and change its uh, its x scale. So its x scale is from 0 to 1. 0 obviously meaning nothing. 1 meaning 100% of its uh, x length. And we're going to say its x scale is equal to health divided by uh, human dot max health. And that will give us the percentage of how much health the player has. So if the player has um, if the player has like you know 50 health and their maximum is 100, that's 50 divided by 100, which is going to be 0 0.5, and 0 0.5 is half of the width of whatever you know GUI it's in. So for the rest of this, we can just say its x offset will be zero, its y scale will remain one, and its y scale will be zero. And we are pretty much done. So from this point forward, anything else that you would add to this would just be, you know, anything fancy or if you wanted some kind of extra event to happen. But uh, yeah, this is the uh, basic health bar system, whatever. doesn't get any more simple than that. So um, let's just go ahead and test this. I think I published it. Yeah. So we'll be able to see if this works or not. And I'm almost positive that it will. And I'll reset my character. And as you can see, the whole green bar just got set to uh, length zero. And to make this a little bit more clear to see, I'll go ahead and damage my character with the dev console. Space.scriptguider.humanoid. Take damage. Uh, I'll take 45 damage. And as you can see, we have our healing system, you know, bringing that back up as the humanoid is health, humanoid's health is changing. And uh, so, yeah. That's pretty much how that works. And for the person who requested this, I hope you found it useful. Um, if you have any questions, you know, just leave a comment in the video or something. I'll get back to it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this helped.